Hey there, welcome to the Old Computer Museum channel. And this is a Amiga 500 game. It's a game called Dark Century. It's a 1989 game that was made for the Amiga and also for the Atari ST computer. It has some interesting 3D style graphics. It's a one or two player game, so you can have a challenge with a friend or you can play against the computer. Basically, this is a 3D style shoot 'em up game. Plays with the joystick, so Dark Century intro. Uh, very nice graphics and sound effects, uh, very some digitized sound effects. Kind of nice. This is the Amiga 500 version, of course, and it works on a real Amiga 500. So, what you're seeing here is the, my real Amiga 500 computer displaying it on the uh, on my TV. It's a one-disc ADF available for download on the internet, so you can actually get it uh, on the internet and download it either. Write it to a three and a half inch disc or play it in the UAE Amiga simulator. So, one player. the tanks if you do yes you'll be greeted to the tank modification or else continue so are we ready and there it goes so you've got your control panel type at the bottom and there we go you can see it's a 3D type environment. It is a shoot em up game, so actually while you're going around, you'll see these ships that you need to destroy. You gotta destroy all the ships that are your enemy ships. Graphics are nice, um, and of course, gameplay is kind of a little difficult. On the bottom right, you have a radar, and the radar is actually showing you the enemy ships. So, uh, trying to uh, try to. Um, startup screens you can see that the uh, pretty much the graphics sequence here is yes 3D environment but it's really simple also what's a little bad about this game is that you're not really sure actually what you need to do uh, once you started the 3D because there's just you know You've got these ships, you have at the bottom, you've got lots of, of interesting things at the bottom here that you need to actually try to find. 
game works with the joystick and also with the keyboard. Music is uh, entertaining, yet uh, after a while you get a little bit annoyed and you want to lower the volume. It's a 1989 game and it is available apparently also for the PC. See at the bottom that my little ship is actually advancing. It's like rolling on the surface of a planet, uh, basically, in 3D. So for the uh, graphics and all, it's nice for the gameplay. You kind of uh, get a little bored with time, since there's nothing in the 3D environment Basically, you have other ships that are shooting up, but um, you actually don't really find nothing special. There's no 3D environment stuff that's happening anywhere. So, and of course, you gotta find energy and stuff. There's no more energy. So, it's kind of hard to understand if you're not really used to these types of games. So I give this game a score of 5.5 out of 10, unfortunately. Really cool intro, uh, nice graphics at the, at the beginning. Um, some kind of 3D environment, yes, but uh, yet kind of boring. So it's uh, something that's not really, really cool to play. So it's available as a one disc ADF on the internet if you want to try it out yourself. And of course, this is Dark Energy. It's Amiga 500 version. If you enjoy these old games and old reviews and old lookbacks and uh, emulation and all sorts of computer stuff that is dated 20, 30 years, please let us know and click the subscribe button at the top of the screen. And also, uh, you can uh, leave us comments or questions on what you've seen. Look at uh, other videos. Huh? We have more than 125 videos online and many, many, many more. And uh, in a year, you'll have literally hundreds and hundreds of videos here. And all sorts of gaming, and it's really, really cool. If you like emulations and old computers, and consoles. It's a great place to uh, come and visit regularly the Old Computer Museum channel. So thanks for watching. Hope you come back. Uh, take care. Bye-bye.